Okay, guys, we're gonna talk about. Oh, um, oh, my tablet stopped working. Oh, I found it. Okay, okay. We're gonna talk about calculus. 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 Yes. Uh, <laughs> I just have this problem <clears throat> that I need to figure out for, uh, well, I, I needed to figure out for a quiz because we had a quiz but then he was like shucks <laughs> it's like time to leave and so he gave us the quiz but then he picked it back up again which means I memorized the problems and worked them at home and I figured out how to do this one which is adding up every single term in this it's yes it's two to the one plus three over four to the zero plus two to the two plus three over four over one plus two to the three plus three over four over two four to the two four to the two yes etc etc until n gets to infinity so eventually you get 2 to the infinity plus 3 over 4 to the infinity. Holy shit. But yeah, you can actually figure out like what this is. Like not only the infinite term, but what the sum is of an infinite amount of numbers. Which only works because this gets really big. And if this, like, if you have, like, 3 over infinity, then any number divided by infinity is 0. Because infinity isn't... It's like, divide 3 into an infinite amount of parts and you get nothing. There's nothing left. Okay. But yeah, sometimes you'll get things, like, I mean, 2 to the infinity plus 3 over 4 to the infinity, like, is 2... As this goes to infinity, 2 to the infinity goes to infinity. And so the 3 doesn't matter, because <laughs> infinity plus 3, that it's the same as infinity. It's just infinity. And so 4 to the infinity also goes to infinity. And so you have infinity over infinity, which is actually ambiguous, because like that's, that doesn't equal 1. That can actually equal anything, <laughs> which is weird. But, um, so I don't actually know, <laughs> like, how <laughs> to find like what this goes to but I can find this I can find this I figured I figured this one out yes okay so um uh let's do this again so properties of sums right because this just means like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay, this just means this is a sigma, so this is the sum of all numbers 2 to the n plus 3 over 4 to the n minus 1, where n starts at 1 and n goes to infinity. That's what that means. And properties of sums means, like, if you have, like, the sum of something and it's like x plus x squared that's the same thing as the sum of x plus the sum of x of, of x squared because i mean like you're just adding and this is also just adding so you're just adding stuff it's like you know like five plus two plus three plus four is the same as Five plus two plus three plus four because it's just addition that's all you're doing you're adding stuff look at my handwriting it's great okay so this is what I use art programs for um, okay so yeah so you can take this and using algebra which is really the big difficulty here is using algebra because I'm I'm really bad at algebra terrible but I know at least that you can take this and you could turn it into 2 to the n over 4 n minus 1 plus 
3 over 4 the n minus 1. We did it. And then we have to find the sum, which is still really convoluted, sort of, because you're like, okay, because so we had like, there are equations for certain things, like the sum of um, n, or it doesn't really have to go to infinity, let's say it goes to like a, n a number um, k, the number k. <laughs> Um, that just means, you know, it starts at 1 and then goes from 1 to k, so depending on what k is, it's just, just 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus n there's n of, uh, until k. And this has an equation, which is k times k <laughs> plus 1 over 2. So you don't have to be like, uh, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, no, nope, just k times k plus one over two. Easy! And there are more of these. But yeah, when it gets to like this stuff, it's like, what, what do you do? And the answer here is you just do it the most naive way possible. And so we're like, all right, this starts at one. Let's start counting. <laughs> so two to the one is just two over four to the zero is just one, so that's just two. And so the next term is um, 2 to the 2, which is 4, over 4 to the 1, which is 4, so that's just 1. 2 plus 1, and then 2 to the, I'm going to write numbers here, 2 to the 3rd is 8, and then 4 to the 2nd is 16, and 8 over 16 is 1 half. And four. Two to the fourth is um, sixteen over four to the third, which is sixteen times four. <laughs> uh, um, um, sixty-four. <laughs> And what did I say? So 16 over 64 is actually 1 fourth. I'm just trying to see like this pattern here. I'm like, wait a second. So this one's probably 1 eighth plus 1 sixteenth plus blah, 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 blah. Cool. All right. So that's this one. And then you can do sort of the same for this one. So it's just 3 over. And then we already calculated 4, blah, blah, blah. So like 3 over 3 over 1, which is 3 plus 3 over 4 plus 3 over... Um, 16 plus 3 over um, 64, etc. And that gets interesting. But the fun thing here is you can see like there's a pattern like this 2, 1, 1 half, 1 fourth, blah, 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 blah. It's like, oh, it's just getting divided in half. And there's like a thing for that is if you can set up things so that it's a times r squared, where a is a number. And R is also a number. <laughs> but A is like, A is, it's the first term. So A is 2 here. So 2 times R squared. So you say, okay, what what R squared can I get so that 2 times it is, is 1? Actually, it's 2 times R to the N, actually. I messed it up. But this, because N here is is um, 0. So this is actually starts at 0. 1, 2, 3. So a times r squared is that one. <laughs> um, so 2 times r to the n. This is actually, so, okay, 2 times what is 1? It's 1 half. Um, 0, 1. You know, I figured this out, but I can't remember what it is though. It's like two times, uh, yeah, it was just two times one half, wasn't it? So two times one half to the n. And so two times one half to the zero is just two. Two times one half to the one is one. Two times one half to the second is, is two times one fourth, which is one half. So you have two times one half to the n. And the handy thing about this is that this helps you find sums because we have a handy equation 
a over 1 minus r, which equals big S, which is the sum, the sum, the sum. So it's that. Yep. <laughs> so now we can say, okay, well, this part here, we figured all this out. So we just put in 2 over 1 minus 1 half, which is 2 over 1 half, which is 2 times 2, which is 4. Cool, we found a number. And so all of this up here actually just equals 4. <laughs> when n goes to infinity. Cool. But now we need this. So we can apply the same rules here. So a times r to the n. Our first term is 3, so a is 3. Times what? 4, 16, 64. Hmm. There we go. Where this n starts at 0. 1, 2. So, so now we have 3 over 1 minus 1 over 4, which ends up being 4. So they both add up to 4, <laughs> which I find strange. But yeah, since this is... Let's drag this down over here. We, I'm good at space management. Um, <laughs> so that sum, the first sum was 4, and the second sum was 4. But actually, the entire sum is 8. I tried to draw that sideways because I keep drawing infinities. 8. Our sum is 8. We figured it out. The fun thing about this is, like, you could go up and say, well, we need to prove, we need to prove first that this sum that we started out with is um, convergent, which means the sum isn't infinity. Because, like, I mean, you think of most sums, if you're just adding stuff together, it's going to eventually go to infinity if you have an infinite amount of numbers, like 1 plus 2 plus 3, blah, 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 up to infinity. It's going to be an infinite amount. It's going to get really big. But then you have certain things where you're like, well, the numbers keep getting smaller. So if the numbers approach zero, like if you had like, you know, like 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, blah 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 blah, that obviously, even if you go to infinity, this keeps being zero. So it doesn't matter. So it's just this, which is, um, 6. Yay! <laughs> but yeah, so sometimes you find stuff like this, and you're like, well, how do I prove... How do I prove that this... You know, how how can I actually do this? So I thought we'd have to do that, but actually, since we literally found the number, <laughs> you don't have to prove it, because you just did. Like, I mean, you wouldn't be able to find this number if it didn't converge, aka go to a number. So we found it. And the other one I had to work was like, uh, screw it over this. And that turns out that just goes to infinity. So... We don't have to worry about that one. Cool. <laughs>